Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about the best new shows of 2019 according to you. So a lot of you voted more than I expected. The survey got shared around a lot and we got thousands of votes, which is awesome. So these are new shows only, shows that had their season one in 2019 and you voted for the ones that you think are the best. Obviously not all shows are going to be on here, but you know, we're just having a good time. So who cares? Should I forget I was supposed to wear like um, a fancy blazer for this? Okay, this is how you do a YouTube end of year top 10 thing. So also, I want to point out that this was the year where I took a lot of time off from being on YouTube. So please don't hate me if I haven't seen some of these shows because I, I haven't. Let's get to it. Okay, so first lightning round honorable mentions for shows that almost made it to the top 10 but didn't. Good Omens, Unbelievable, Carnival Row, and Living With Yourself. These are all shows that as the votes came in almost broke into the top 10 but they just didn't. So because of that, all of these shows were canceled forever and everybody who worked on them was executed. It's just the way it goes. Number 10 is Russian Doll on Netflix. I actually did watch this one. I don't think I made a review for it. I liked it a lot. Can't say that I would have it on my own personal top 10, but it was very good. It's basically another Groundhog Day story. Nadia, the main character, dies and relives the same day over and over again, except that sometimes little things change and every day you get to learn a little bit more about her life. Super quick watch, six episodes I think, and an interesting and deep interpretation of a very familiar premise. Number nine is a very late entry to the game, His Dark Materials on HBO, which just wrapped up I think about a week ago. Based on the popular series of books, which I have not read, I only watched a few episodes of this show, I loved it so far, not surprised to see the two or even three big uh, HBO shows make it to this list. Can you guess the other ones? Number eight was actually a tie between The Mandalorian and Doom Patrol. I honestly haven't even heard of Doom Patrol. I'm sorry, I took a lot of time off this year. I was focusing on being a dad, okay? God. I did just watch the trailer for Doom Patrol though, and it looks amazing, and I'm gonna watch this right away. This is the worst top 10 video on YouTube, isn't it? No, Rewind was worse. I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, I didn't watch The Mandalorian either because I'm just not ready for another streaming service. Not just yet. I'll get to it eventually. Number seven is When They See Us, a Netflix show that my best friend will actually stop talking to me if I don't watch it soon. So if you're watching, I'm sorry. I will watch it. I promise and I love you. When They See Us tells the true story of the Central Park Five, a group of young people who get charged with the assault and rape of a jogger in Central Park in New York City. The show follows the story through about 25 years of development, and according to my best friend, it's an absolute must watch, so I, I must watch it. Number six is The Umbrella Academy, which I have watched and absolutely loved. This is a weird take on the superhero story where we focus much more on the relationships between the different members of this particular superhuman group. And this show is just driven by fantastic characters and some truly amazing performances. And it's just so much fun. Highly recommended. It. It's on Netflix. Go watch it. Number five is You Euphoria on HBO. This one is actually based on an Israeli show. It tells the story of a 17 year old recovering drug addict and it generally tackles what it's like being an anxiety fueled teenager. I've been hearing a lot of praise for this show and specifically for the performances from Zendaya. Um, who I've only seen in Spider-Man, but she plays the main character in this show, and it looks like a lot of you loved it. I haven't watched it yet, I feel like I might have some trouble connecting with this show, but I'm definitely interested to find out. Number four is The Witcher, the very, very new Netflix original, which I personally really liked, but I didn't expect it to get so many votes so late in the game. But I'm just so happy to see Netflix investing in a show like this that I'm super excited to see this show get a lot of love. Even if some bullshit critics try to kill this show without actually watching it. Toss a goddamn coin to your Witcher. Number three is Watchmen on HBO. I definitely agree that this show belongs on this list. I loved it. I thought it handled the material that it adapts very respectfully and it expands on it. The story was great. The performances were great. The show is just 
subtle enough with its points and twists and turns and it delivers a very satisfying season one that does feel like a full story while still um, making me at least very excited for season two. Number two is The Boys, the Amazon original also adapted from a graphic novel and another show I absolutely loved. I actually liked the show more than I did the graphic novel, but Keep in mind that I only read the first volume. It shows us a world where superheroes exist and are corporately owned and it's scary how much that world makes sense, like this is how it would be if this was real life. And also, Carl Urban is just everything. He's, he's everything. And number one, the number one new show of 2019 according to you in this most prestigious award of the industry, Chernobyl! Chernobyl. I have a review coming out for this show pretty soon. HBO, they know how to do it. Congratulations, Chernobyl. You did it. I know this validation from the binge watchers community means a lot to you. And if it doesn't, it should. Okay, now it's time for you to tell me how wrong this list is or how right it is or some cynical comment about how useless top 10 videos are. But I like these types of videos. Top 10 books, top 10 movies. They show me stuff I might have missed and maybe I'll enjoy. And they're fun when they're not the worst. Sometimes they can be the worst. Anyway, that was my video essay on how top 10 videos have impacted modern, modern day culture. Tell me what were your favorite shows of this year were. Tell me what you're excited to watch next year. That's what I care about. Let's do it. If you're going to be talking about spoilers for any shows, please, please, please use the name of the show and a spoiler tag next to it just to make sure that other people like me who haven't really watched anything this year don't get anything ruined. Um, but other than that, if you're finding Binge Watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. As we venture forth into 2020, a year filled with watching awesome TV shows and then coming here to the YouTubes to talk about them. Maybe there will be other things going on in our lives, but let, let's be honest, like it's, it's going to be mostly Netflix.